I'd like to start off with some self-promotion real quick. Please visit www.russimf.com. There you can find all of these tutorials and more. I have renders that I have done there and also weekly contests for the new best render featured on my main page. You can also find free textures you can use in modeling your own file under the Files tab. Please be sure to support the site by clicking on an ad while you're there. I'm doing this for free and I could really use the support. Again, and enjoy the tutorials. Alright, hello and welcome to tutorial 6. Uh, this one is going to be over how to make a lightsaber. So let's get started. Our basic scene here, uh, default scene, you can go ahead and delete the cube. Alright, so select the cube, hit X, erase objects. Alright, uh, we want to start here in the center uh, with a cylinder. Okay, so just go ahead and spacebar, mesh, add cylinder. Uh, we're going to go ahead and switch to the front view by pressing 1 and size our cylinder down slightly uh, to whatever size you want, doesn't matter. Uh, Alright, then we're going to hit S, Z and size it upward here. Okay, and we, as you can see, we already start have the beginning of our heel of our lightsaber. Okay, uh, next thing we're going to do here is we're going to go into edit mode by pressing tab all right uh, and I'm going to do something called subdivide I know we haven't spoken about this before uh, this is something that you will use a lot subdividing basically takes uh, the mesh you have and adds more faces to it adds more vertices all right so hit W and then hit subdivide a lot of people use the subdivide multi uh, all that does is makes more than one cut at a time, so you just have to keep sitting there hitting subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. Uh, I usually just keep hitting subdivide because it's it, a little more accurate for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm a slow person, but uh, that's how I like to do it. Okay. Uh, basically, uh, you want it to look similar to this. You want it to have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, seven rings in there. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. Like I said, this isn't perfect. This is art. Okay. Uh, Go ahead and deselect all, hold down alt and right click on, uh, I can't get it, dang it, hang on a second here, alright, I'm not going to be able to do it that way, but that's okay, because there's another way to do it, uh, go ahead and hit B, B, alright, and it'll bring this little circle up and you can just go through and get it like that, alright, uh, once you've selected all those, and as you can see, I just want to point out here that uh, when you use that tool, it selects both sides, so uh, be aware. Alright, uh, I'm going to hit S for size. I'm just going to size that inward, okay? Just like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing for, uh, we'll do it for this one here. Alright, and size inward. Alright, kind of like that, making it like a hilt. Or you know what, actually I lied. Do it for this one here. I missed it, you probably caught that. Go ahead and size that in, and you can do it for this one too. Size that one in. There we go, now we got a cool little handle. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of different ways to do this. Uh, everybody has their own way. This is just the way I prefer, so... Uh, the only way to tell you it's wrong because it's you know it's up to you. <laughs> all right. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to select this top one here. All right. So this one's going to be a little more tricky. Uh, go into the select all that top. Go into the top view. Zoom in on it here. All right. And then hit BB. And uh, go ahead and deselect these outer two rings. And you do this by uh, holding down the center mouse. So just uh, go ahead and continue to delete those outer two rings, or not delete them, but uh, okay. Uh, now that you've done that, uh, zoom out a little bit, and uh, I want you to grab it with G on the Z axis and move it inward, or correction downward a little bit. Just uh, just slightly is all you need. And as you can see, we have made the hilt of our lightsaber. Okay. That's not the cool part, though. That's the uh, that's the work part. The cool part is coming now. 
go into top view, okay? And I want you to move the cursor over here, just away from the hilt for a little bit, and add a, uh, let's add a cube. Go into edit mode, and delete almost all the sides. All right, just like that. Now select that, just that one little bit. You know, I'm gonna do that again because I get, excuse me, I did that kind of fast. I want you to actually see how I did that. All right, all I did was I added, actually, you know what, you can do this by adding a plane. Let's make it even easier. Just add a plane, all right? You got four corners, hit A to deselect it, and then B twice, and just select this one side. And hit X to delete vertices. Okay, and all you have is this one, one side right here. Uh, hit A to select all, and then I want you to subdivide it. Just keep subdividing it. Subdivide so you have almost a straight line. You can't really see it. There you go, just like that, okay? Uh, now what I want you to do is I want you to click on this, go into your shaders, uh, add, new uh, add new object, add new material, make it white. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on Halo. Now, let's see if we can see that from here. If you go into render, you can see you have a halo. But uh, that's not even close to being finished. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to stretch that out a little bit. Uh, yeah, that should probably be good. See how that looks rendered? That's a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and uh, reduce the halo size. How you do that is you come into here and you go to shaders. And it says halo size. Pretty self-exclamatory. Just go ahead and reduce that to like 300. And see how that looks. That's much better. Okay. And uh, after you have that done, just uh, go ahead and do the same exact thing again. Right over here. Just with a different object. Add a plane. Edit mode. Select those two sides. Uh, delete. Delete those two sides, select that, subdivide, 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 and then try and match the length uh, as best as possible. Now you can take it and lay it over top, size it down a little bit, yeah, that should be good. Okay, now what I want you to do is, after you have that made, uh, go ahead and go in here and add a new color to it. Uh, you can add whatever color you'd like, uh, orange is my personal favorite. Uh, so I'm going to make mine orange. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, I clicked the, uh, the wrong button there. Uh, that one there, same as always, orange. And then hit halo. And you can leave this one a little bit bigger. Let's see how that looks. All right. And go and place that over top of the other one. Make sure it's directly on top of each other. Uh, now my size is going to be off because uh, mine weren't close together. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and fix that, and we'll see how that looks. There you go. There's your lightsaber. You can adjust that uh, by changing. How I did that was I increased, increased the halo size to uh, 6. Uh, I made the hard. I, I put the hard up, and then I, I put add all the way to 1. Okay. Uh, now that that's done, uh, we can take both these objects, and uh, let's go ahead and rotate them. I'll rotate them 90 degrees. Seeing that, oh, damn it. Rotate them 90 degrees. There we go. And let's go ahead and move them onto our lightsaber hilt. I have a bunch of different ways that I do this. You can do it however you'd like. Just get it, get it to the point where it needs to be. There we go. We'll move our camera back a little bit here so we can see. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and make my background black. And there you go. Here's your lightsaber.